I have two new guests here to join me or that have joined me to discuss the Michelle Tricona's case and is she guilty of conspiracy to commit a murder? Welcome, Dina Sagdahl, attorney and trial consultant and my friend, and of course, the great Dr. Ken Lang, retired homicide detective. Now, let me start first with you, Ken, because you have been a police officer and you can use informants, you can use snitches, you can grant immunity, but does he seem like a little irritating to you that maybe he's not telling the whole truth? Are you talking about the defense attorney or the uh, witness? Oh, <laughs> nice dig, Ken. I'm actually talking about the witness. I love you, too. I know you, I know you are. Uh, yeah, no, he does. He seems very aggravated, very irritating. Uh, but then this can be his character, too. Uh, you know, I've. I've interviewed people who who come off this way and, and they, they seem rough and gruff and uh, hard to really communicate with and just r really hard to get information out of. Yet in, in this situation here, uh, is the defense attorney actually creating some of this animosity between the two? It seems a little aggravating. We're getting into all this this dialogue about the cell phone and we're getting into the semantics of the wording of the questions and then the objections. Uh, you know, that that situation alone can be irritating in and of itself. And so uh, it, it, as far as his truthfulness, you know, that that, that lies with uh, with the fact finder. Repeat the question. Yes. OK, Dr. Ken Lang, retired homicide detective. Uh, I could see why this case is taking like weeks longer because we're getting like seven minutes of objection explaining by the judge what the objection is sometimes <laughs> wrong before we get to the facts. So let's get to the facts right with you. What's the most important thing the defense attorney just brought out in this cross-examination? And, and so he, he's getting into this truck and the truck modifications, and, and, and that does become important because then we're, he's going to try to coalesce us to the uh, the timeline of the events that, that have transpired here and then show, uh, again, he's going to try to put the light on this witness as a potential suspect rather than his client uh, and paint uh, paint him in, the, in that bad light. And in doing so, uh, pulling out these facts and, and examining them the way he is, uh, he could just very well successfully do that.